Um, right. So I kind of know where I'm supposed to be going now, because we found it earlier. So that is Route 15. It's not the one we want. We want 14. Which I think was kind of this direction. I think. Um, although I could do with finding a Pokemon Center first. Is this Pokemon Center? Nope, cafe. Okay, so there's the little blue hut that I found earlier. Is it going to be the next one? Because there was a... Yeah, there's the guy that's standing outside of it that wouldn't let me through. Oof, I probably was revived. But how? Does it just get revived from riding around with it? That's a little bit odd. But I have healed my party. Right. I'll keep with Vibrava for a little while longer, I think. Right. I'm hoping this is the right way to go. But it let me through that time. So that's an improvement. So this will get to Route 14. I think that's correct. Uh, people sitting in the cafe watch the people who walk past. And the people who walk past watch the people who are sitting in the cafe. I mean, I wouldn't say that they watch them. That's a little bit of a weird way to word it. Uh, to make Lumia City even more beautiful, all the power lines have been laid underground. I mean, that's just smart. Ooh. Is it a park? Aha. It's Trevor. I did arrive very quickly, because there was no point exploring the city. It's slightly broken. Uh, they're comparing their Pokedexes. So I feel like I should put out some battling Pokemon. Just in case. I assume she's about to battle me. Uh, I'm sure there are many different kinds of Pokemon in Kalos. There are. Right. Yes, let's have a Pokemon battle. So, what have you got? A Meowth deck. So, let's go with a Shadow Claw. Also, I forgot that I have sunglasses on for some reason. So I now have a Mega Lucario that instantly fainted her Meow Stick. And Greninja leveled up. Right, Absol. Or So they quick attacked me. And that fainted them. So they've got a Chestnut. Let's go Poison Jam. So it didn't quite faint it. Seed Bomb, critical hit, did pretty much no damage. Let's go for another Poison Jab. I mean, is she not going to Mega Evolve a Pokemon? I mean, it wasn't that intense of a battle. Oh, and Shauna's turned up. So Lucario's leveled up, Genesect's leveled up, Tyrantrum's leveled up. Nice. Here we are, just missing Tierno now. A fighting dojo. I don't know where the fighting dojo is. Oh, he's behind me. He was learning a sparring dance. I mean, that is a pretty good dance to learn. Um, see if I'm any good Pokemon for his team. Good. I'm just going to go and have a look around the park while they keep chatting. So because there's swings. Uh, Shola wants us to go to the scary house, which I assume is going to be on our way. It's probably going to be the orange dot at the top, or the one slightly to our right. Uh, 
So Serena's going to pass. Okay. She disappeared quickly. Is it really that scary? Probably. So there's always some reason why rumours like that get started. I mean, that's usually true. Is she not also going to run off? Well, I'm, I'm travelling to become a Pokemon trainer. I'm just going to leave her. Right. So that's just a Route 14 marker. Oh, she's got me trapped here. Okay. Oh, and now she's gone. Okay. Is it, it is letting me go forward. She wasn't quite sure. Ooh. There's Carnivines here. I like Carnivine. It's a good Pokemon. There's Haunters and Crags Eyes. Right. So there's all sorts of water here. So there is a way round there, I think. Yes, yeah, so there's a way around there, or I can go through the water. I mean, seeing as I can fly. Um, let's send in Genesect. And they don't mean the water. Right. Earth power. It's pretty good. And again. And a pyro. I don't know if I've seen one of those yet. And it's Hyper Beam on me. That's a powerful Pokemon. Uh, but I have powerful Pokemon too. Right. Let's get Greninja back out so I can swim through this. Uh, is that an item? Don't move back. There we go. What's it going to be? So I can actually pick up items like that. Interesting. So it's just certain people can't give me items. That's part of what's not working. Uh, a Gumi. I kind of want to get a Gumi. So Gumi use Bide. I use Poison Jab. He didn't get to use Bide. Right. So there is a drop, but I have Pokemon that can jump up bits like that, just so I can get the spell tag. Right, come on Greninja, let's go. So there's Shelmet and Carablast. Ooh, it's good that they're in the same area, since they definitely paired up. Um, Anina, interesting. So my choices are Shadow Claw or Poison Jab, because Quirk Attack and Boris Sphere are not going to do anything to a Ghost type. So I'm pretty better off not having Lucario up front. Though he's doing pretty well against the Ghost types. But I feel like Tyrantrum might be slightly better. Right, what have we got? Gumi. There's a Weeping Bell. There's a lot of water here. I assume this is just after you can use Surf. Well, no, you could use Surf a while ago. I guess this is to make sure that you have a Pokemon that can use Surf. For whatever reason. Right. Let's jump over to here. Aha. This time I'm not going to drown. Um, what have I got? A Poliwhirl. I'll go with Dragon Claw. That was pretty effective. And a Fracture. Same thing. And a Loudred. We'll go with the same thing again. There we go. That was pretty quick. 
So there's a Pokeball over in the corner there. Oh, this is a bit of a maze. So there's a way that way, and there's two ways over there. Um, I'm assuming that way joins up to the other path that I didn't take earlier. Which may have been this episode, may have been last episode. Who knows? Um, so I'm going to guess I need to go towards that side. So I do would just want to catch a carnivine quickly. Right, he's vine whip. That's not great. Um, pokeballs. I'll go with we'll go with the great ball. So it has just sunk underwater. There we go. And I leveled up. Right. I assume I can battle this person. Or my Pokemon can just bounce off them. I can't help but think of poison looking at the swamp. Okay. So they're supposed to give me the move Toxic. So yeah, again, game is breaking slowly. Um, I assume that is the way to go. 